Uh, I'm Bruce Feiler, cancer survivor, creator of the original Council of Dads, author of the book, The Council of Dads, and a producer of the television show, The Council of Dads. I went to a doctor and got a routine blood test that suggested something was wrong uh, with my leg. And I got a series of tests and they identified that something was happening in my leg. And I got a call one afternoon, it was a Tuesday afternoon, from a doctor saying, uh, the tumor in your leg is not consistent with a benign tumor. So it took me a second to convert that double negative into a much more horrifying negative. I have cancer. I went to the doctor and I got a set of crutches to protect my leg and I went home and I lay down on my bed and my daughters, I am the dad of identical twin daughters, at the time they were three and they came in, they were in this pink and purple tutus, we called them pinkalicious and purplicious, and they did this dance and they, were, and they just collapsed uh, to the ground and I collapsed with them and I kept imagining all the walks I wouldn't take with them and the art projects I wouldn't mess up and the boyfriends I wouldn't scowl at. And I kept thinking that uh, you know, they would lack my discipline and my love and my voice. And three days later, I woke with an idea of how I could give them that voice. I would reach out to men from all parts of my life and ask them to be present in the lives of my daughters. And I said to myself that I would call that group the Council of Dads. And from the very second that I had that idea, I felt like it had always been in the world and that I, in some way, was the custodian uh, of that idea and that it would always be uh, in the world. And here we are today and it's, it's reaching a much bigger audience. We have our work lives and we have our family lives and our friends are the ones often that get pushed aside. And I think that one of the reasons that people have responded to this idea is that, is that it's a, a bridge almost. It's a way to invite your friends into the thing that's most important to you. You know, and I think the other reason is that we live in this moment where so much in our culture is pulling us apart and dividing us, right? You know, left, right, red, and blue. And there's something about this story that is about bringing people together, about broadening the tent, not narrowing the tent. And so, you know, the, the stories that I have heard over the years of people forming councils of dads and councils of moms and, and, and just trying to throw open their lives and say, you know what, it's hard. It's difficult what we're doing. And I want as many people to come together and, and, and work together as possible. Council of Dads, Thursdays at 8 p.m. Only on Mnet.